it'll process through and then it'll create a custom template for us. All right, and as you can see here, it has that title slide now set on a black background with no, no other text showing. And over here in the document settings, it's already set up that way. So uh, I've set the, the paper to US paper. All right, um, you could go with photo, but I prefer the US paper just because it's a little bit cleaner. It's, it's a standardized size, something that we know that we can, we can work from. Uh, size letter, okay, no need, don't put it on tabloid or legal. You know, it's just going to make things a little bit difficult. Leave the widths alone, leave the inches alone, uh, and your orientations are fine at, on the default, so don't worry about those. Leave it at high quality, and then your background, you can choose you know, anything you want. You can even go with a custom background. Uh, and actually, for this portfolio, I think I might set this one to white, and then leave uh, open password alone or permission password because if you put that on there, you're going to have to make sure that I have your password and that it's always with me. So if you leave it open, then I don't have to worry about it. So uh, it'll be easier for me to give you a good grade if you don't. So I'm going to hit refresh preview again. You guys will see there, voila, it changes the background. All right, and then I can come down. And because I have right now this set to the fine art mat, it's just going to put one one image per per page. If I were on something, say, like the uh, two-up greeting card, then it would have, here, I'll hit the refresh. That way you guys can see this. Okay, so it, had, it would have two of them, and then it shows the, the actual uh, file names underneath, which if you want the file names to show, that's great. I didn't want to for this particular one, so I didn't add it in. i set that back. Okay, that's there. Uh, now I'm going to scroll down because there's a few extra things you can add to it. Uh, if you, I would like for you to take some time, make sure that all your rows and your everything is set right. Uh, you, use auto spacing if you need to. It's a good thing to have. And then row best fits. Okay, that's all set good. Uh, overlays. So the overlays actually deals with this type of stuff. So you know your your file names and whatnot. So if you see. I can click off extension, and if I were to refresh the preview at this point, then the little extension name right there has disappeared. So I, you know, it doesn't say uh, Photoshop, you know, .psd anymore. It just has the name. So if you went through and, and specifically named your uh, your images, then this is a good thing to to make sure that you have in place. And I would take off the .psd in that because I don't really need to see that. Uh, and then you can change the sizes of the font so that you can read it a little bit easier. Refresh preview again, All right? And then you can see this is my portfolio opening slide. Uh, I don't really need you to read that, so I'm just going to turn that off. Okay, uh, and I'll do one last refresh at the end, but we don't need that right now. Okay, and then the rest of this is set to where I want it. So open full screen mode, loop after last page. Advance every, you know, so this would be more of a slideshow thing, but I didn't want that on there, so I turned it off. Okay, uh, you can add transitions if you'd like, which is, you know, just fine. Uh, you can add directions and speeds and all that if you feel like getting really fancy with it, but I wouldn't worry too much. Uh, and then if you want to put a watermark uh, of text behind the images or across the images, say you're going to share this with a prospective client, you didn't want them to print this out and steal the images before they bought paid the paid for them kind of a nice thing to have uh you could you know put in your your watermark for your uh for your copyright in that okay uh that is about all that i need you to set up on this one and so let me make sure down at the bottom here that looks good let's refresh the preview real quick to make sure all right everything is good for me there i'm going to click on view pdf after save that way after I save this one right now, we can take a, a gander at it. We'll do this one. So we'll go final. Oops. Final. If I could stop capitalizing the I. Folio. Okay. And that'll be, I'm going to put spring 10. That way I know it's, you know, for the spring 010. And then I'm just going to save this one to the desktop so it's easier to find. All right. And if you need, yeah, you, know, you need to be able to 
navigate in. Remember that that's what this arrow is for here. And then I'm going to go up and I'm going to save it. And it's going to go through, and because I was putting PSDs in, it's going to take just a little bit longer than if I'd done JPEGs, but it works actually pretty quick. Uh, nice thing though is it creates the the PDF for you automatically, sets the images in, resizes them, does all the all the dirty work for you, uh, so that you don't have to really worry about it. Um, I think these are a great tool and something that, as you go through and you you work from from uh, Photoshop and, and in the Adobe suite of applications that you should go and use this wherever you can and, and find different uses for it. Okay, try and pull out a bit. Okay, it's okay. Okay, and then as you can go, we'll just scroll down. All right, and I go through each of my images. All right, and it's just clean. It's nice. It gives me a chance to look at your stuff in a in a high quality way all in one place uh, where it doesn't take up a ton of space on my hard drive yeah and it's nice for you guys too because you know this is a nice little little PDF um, inside Acrobat you could add comments you could do anything you want uh, and it's you know so take a little time play with this but make sure that you have the required 10 or 8 images plus it you know a uh, opening introductory slide and then 10, 10 slides on top of that would be an exemplary por portfolio if you went through, went through and showed all of your very good Photoshop skills. All right, so do that. We're, you'll be turning these in on Friday during our final. Okay, so that should be about 8.30 a.m. Make sure that you're there on time. Uh, we're going to do the, the class evaluation that day too, and then we'll spend a little time chit-chatting, debriefing, and that's all I need from you. So thank you all, and I will see you on Friday. Great.